EXA is at Paris Mountain in Anglesey, off the north coast of Wales. Our quest to find out the scale of Bronze Age mining here is well underway. Our 3D map of the mine system is in place and we've retrieved what could be Bronze Age artefacts from the Grand Stoke Chamber. The third and most difficult task to find a new Bronze Age site in Mona Mine is about to begin. It's the morning of the big push and it's quite interesting. Normally every morning so far the group has been quite jovial, buoyant, you know, a lot of banter and Mickey taking amongst themselves. But this morning they, they deadly quiet, just a little bit of chatter. And I think that's because they're quite nervous and it's understandable when you think about it. What they have to do is they've got to not only get down into the mine and squeeze their way along the passages, it's more like climbing an inverted mountain. They've got to go deep down into the mountain itself and then climb back up the other side to Mona Mine. So we'll just see what, how they're feeling, what they're going to do. All right, how's everyone feeling then? Good? Yeah, I have to say I'm getting more and more nervous the closer we get to going down. Really? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but it's, it's really going to be worth it. Though. I mean, uh, yeah, you've got, you got the guys that's there anyway. I mean, they, they're going to look after you, Katie. But I mean, if, if, if you do get nervous, then, then just say, I want to go back, and, yeah. and they, they fetch you back. Yeah. Dave Wagstaff and mining engineer Mark Noble will be with the team on the trip. And if there is any kind of minor problem, then we're going to be able to sort it out between us. Okay. The team are taking extra provisions and warm clothing for an eight hour round trip. The problem is, we, you know, even though we've got like the absolute best people that you could possibly want to take down a mine with you, um, we don't have any control over the beams going. It's going to be really hard work and yeah. it's going to be very uncomfortable, but if we can just extract that one piece of archaeological information, that, I mean, that's going to be wonderful. Good one. All right. Cheers, mate. David, this is, the, this is the wood that we took out of the section. I presume you took it out for carbon-14 data analysis, is it? Or... Um, well, yes, and also just to find the type of yeah. wood as well. Yeah. And yeah. we didn't actually know what it was. We were hoping that it might be some, something like the handle of a tool. Oh, yeah, Wild yeah. hopes, you know, like yeah. that. But... I did drive it. Then it can go for identification. Right. And then a portion can go for C14 analysis. In terms of our uh, objectives, we've two down, one to go. Mm -hmm. Our first one, which was the three-dimensional scanning of the Cyrax of the chambers, we've done that. Yeah. Second one is to get evidence of mining in the Grand Stoke, and fingers crossed it's going to be Bronze Age, I hope so, because you've put enough work into yeah. it. And the third one is to get into Mona Mine. Yes, the third, a further site. Well, hopefully we'll be able you to tick that off as well. The team have descended 270 feet down into the recently drained level that connects Paris Mine and Mona Mine. The vertical descent runs without a hitch. Oh my God, this is disgusting! Ah, oh, curtains of snot. What um, is it? Is it's, it plant? No, it's a polysaccharide. It's, it's a waste product made by bacteria. Oh, it's disgusting, like wobbles. <laughs> it's proper slime. Oh. Oh, I don't want to get it on my. Alright. You alright? Yeah. You sure? We've got a first aid kit. First aid kit, Dave! So look at it. But only 20 minutes into the course. journey along the yeah. tunnels to Mona There's Mine, well. our cameraman, Clive, has a fall. Clive is shaken, but luckily not seriously injured, and carries on. Five minutes later, Trevor gets an eyeful of gritty, acidic water. Good burning. Oh, you, can, you can plan this, 
and I'm, you've got a bit on your eyelash. Hold on. Okay, it's hot, but... Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's out. Hold on. No, OK, we've got it. Just open up and I'll just flush it. Yeah, that's it. You're clear. We'll get there yet. Until March 2003, these tunnels were underwater and unreachable. They were drained because the highly acidic water posed a threat to the surrounding countryside. It's not going too well. We've had a uh, we've had a couple of little run-ins on the way down, so we're running almost half an hour behind time. Obviously, we've got a really, really tight schedule. Also, I think we're beginning to realise just how much kit we've got. You know, it's just so cumbersome taking through these tunnels. As a volcanologist, I couldn't resist getting a closer look at the geology of Paris Mountain. Now, the history doesn't just start um, at Bronze Age mining. The history of this site started 450 million years ago, and that's when the landscape began to form itself. And the remarkable thing is that it used to be an ocean floor. So we're looking at eight kilometers down underneath the water itself, with great big towering volcanoes that poked out, a little bit like Krakatoa. And what happens is that it's so hot down there that supercharged, really hot water percolated its way through the Earth's crust, leaching out bits of copper. And then when it got to the sea floor, it deposited the copper out in what we call copper sulphides. It's remarkable, the fact that an ocean floor has now been transformed into Paris Mountain. Quite a history. Starting to go low now. Just gets up to where it hurts. Okay? Yeah. Keep going in that. The team have arrived at the point where they enter Mona Mine. No one has been up there in over 100 years, and this is as far as the Paris Underground Group have ever been. That takes us 25 feet up to a platform there, and beyond that, it's virgin territory. So I'm hoping we're going to find something good up there. Yeah, here's hoping. How are we doing for time, Mike? We're 55 minutes over a lot of time to get down to here. So the sooner we can get a move on and get up this ladder and into the stuff we want to be into, better. It was 1885 when the last miner left this place, and no one's been up there since. You step onto the platform at the top there when you get to the top. OK, I'm at the top. You know, what we've just come through is, is like a warm-up for the, you know, the real task ahead. We're going to have to go really slow and really careful through the next couple of, you know, 100 metres or so. Bronze Age, here we come. We are here on Paris Mountain finding evidence of Bronze Age mining. Now a survey is coming together, but right now, 300 feet below me, Katie and the rest of the team are facing one of the biggest challenges they've ever had. The team have reached the entrance to Mona Mine, 300 feet underground. No one has been in these tunnels for over 100 years. But for safety reasons, the number of people going into this dangerous and unknown mine must be kept to a strict minimum. This is as far as our camera crew can go. 
From here on, all footage will be shot on tiny cameras attached to their helmets. Oh my God, that's really bad. God, it doesn't look safe at all, does it? No. Are you happy to go up there, Dave? Yeah, um, I say, yeah. The team come to a 19th century ladder left by the miners. It looks quite narrow in the middle, so we're going to really make yourself small. Yeah. It's tight, isn't it? Yeah. Get well over to your right now. Oh. I'm not sure how long this is going to last. Now. It's just kind of shearing off, isn't it's it? The kind of stuff that Since just these tunnels were drained, the, the timbers uh, are no longer preserved. Look at this. It's a matter of time before they dry out completely and disintegrate. Yeah. It's just like oh, don't do too much. Um, quite nervous, I have to say. It's more collapse here. Yeah. Tell you what, if this stuff starts landing on us, then we're going to be in trouble. Yeah, let's not think about that. I hate to say, guys, but it's looking really bad ahead. Is it? We're going to have to take a great deal of care here. Um, it's full of water as well, Dave. I know. It's not too deep, but... Oh, it's terrible. OK, well, let's just take it really careful. OK. Just stay low. If we can get through here, that would mean that we should be into a, a little bit better territory. Hopefully. Should be more solid. Yeah, but I don't like this one bit. You know, it is one big risk. How, what, how big a risk? You can't say. You can't, can't pin the man for that. It's a piece of string. <laughs> um, I'm happy to go for it. Are you happy? Uh, yeah. Remember Kapunk? Oh, Alright, what's your pop on the left? Oh my god. This is actually quite terrifying. Yeah. I've been in some really bad caves in my time, but this seriously takes the biscuits. I feel like I don't want to breathe too hard. Don't. Oh, God. It's really claustrophobic, isn't it? We don't want to go that way, and if we look in there, we certainly don't want to go that way. Missing at the bottom. Uh, Jeez. A bit slippery. Thank God for that. Yeah. Yeah. This is right, this section, isn't it? Yeah. 